I'm voting in an election, there are three candidates, Adams, Brown and Collins. Their names are arranged alphabetically on the ballot paper. I think I'll choose Adams first. Actually, my second choice would have been Collins. Last choice would have been Brown. That's my ballot paper. I now put it in the ballot box and later on all the votes will be counted. There were only nine people in this electorate. Mine was the last vote cast. So now the returning officer takes them out and this is how they're sorted out. Mm -hmm. There's a vote for, for Adams. Number one for Adams again. Or number one for Brown. And another one for Brown. There's one for Adams. And there's one for Brown. They're both doing very well, aren't they? Uh, oh, there's one for Collins, and another one for Collins, and this one goes to Adams. Let's count them up. Adams has one, two, three, four first preference votes. Four. He did quite well. What about Brown? One, two, three. Hmm, not so well. How about poor old Collins? One, two. Only two votes. Now, if we were using a first-past-the-post voting system, then Adams would have won. He would have been elected. It's a bit like a running race. First one to get there wins. However, let's say this is a preferential voting system. In that case, what we do is say, who came last? Hmm, Collins. What we do is to look for the second preferences in these voting slips. See, that one there said Collins first, Brown second. So that goes into Brown's pile. This one says Collins first, Brown second. That goes into Brown's pile. Well, Adams still has four votes. But Brown now has one, two, three, four, five votes. And so, under a preferential system, Brown is elected. That's democracy. Mm -hmm.